Morning, it's uh, Craig from Yesway Communications here and we're going to have a look at Software Defined Radio. Now this is just a quick demonstration. We're using a SDR Software Defined Radio dongle which is basically the receiving part of it connected to an indoor antenna and that plugs into our laptop. Now we have the software on the laptop. It's called Software Defined Radio for a reason. Uh, the clue is in the word software. So rather than traditional radio where you've got a lot of electronics, as there's a lot of blocks uh, within the within the radio system, blocks of electronics doing different things like um, the IF stage, power amplifiers, etc., audio frequency amplifiers. Instead, it's done using the, using the laptop and processing it in software instead rather than physical hardware. So you can see on your screen, um, we have a piece of software loaded up. We're currently on, if you look where the cursor is, I'm finish recording this, it's on 145.337.5 megahertz. Okay, now this is the... Um, amateur radio frequency or ham radio if you're from the usa uh so let's um turn this on press the start button now you see here this is particular it's about the time uh i've got the microphone plugged into the microphone and Speaker point. Right, let's see if I can. Um, let's see if I can hear what's going on. Speakers. That's better. Okay, I can hear it now. And we've had, well, we're getting some noise. You can hear that on the recording. Oh, right. Well, this NFM up here, where I'm pointing with the cursor, narrowband FM. We've got AM, amplitude modulation, LSB, lower sideband. If you're following where I'm pointing the cursor on the left-hand side here. USB, upper sideband. WFM, wideband FM. The FM being frequency modulation. DSB, double sideband. Now CW, carrier wave. So I have, well, I, I know it's carrier wave. There's something else wave. I've heard, I can't see the other one people call it, but basically, I know it's, it's carrier wave. The wave that the, um, the signal's carried on, carrier wave. Right. And raw, just a raw output. What's on the channel? Not a lot. Let's put it back to narrowband FM. Now there's something there. It's just uh, da, 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 da. that could be because you see this where this we can narrow it in. So we're changing the bandwidth. Here we are. So it's so bandwidth 20.81 kilohertz. So that's how wide our channel is in effect. So we can narrow it down. That's gonna make a difference. Right, it's gonna be uh twelve and a half kilohertz. Oh dear, it's near enough. Channel bandwidth for what? Assuming we're receiving an analog signal on the amateur radio frequency. Nothing there. Right. Let's just have a look around. It's fairly quiet on there. Now have we got all the settings correct? Da, 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 some point. Yeah. Ah. Well, that's a bit better. Okay. Sort. Set it to that. So, 
Right, so we're on one four four. Let's take it to one four five. Right, let's let's um, let's get some music on here. So we're going to lower this to. Let's go for one o two. We should be around the broadcast bands here. Ah, there's something there, definitely. Well, let's get the volume up. Now, you can see up the top left here, we're on, y, we're on WFM now. It's automatically changed to wideband FM because this is the broadcast band, um, like your FM radio, and the bandwidth is much wider than, say, two-way radio. I'm just not sure I've got no sound again. Oh, we have. Or something there. Hopefully you can hear that. We've got some classical music. Let's get that to the, roughly the signal bandwidth. Right, well we've got music. It's not very loud. I'm not quite sure what I've got turned down here. But you should be able to hear music. Oh, I've lost it again. There we go. Now, stereo, that's that stereo. Yeah, so um, you can see the signal there. This whole screen is like a big. Um, mine's gone wrong. What do I mean? I don't mean frequency counter. I mean. Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. What do I mean? But what this is showing, spectrum analyzer, that's the word I'm looking for. I need another coffee. Uh, spectrum analyzer. So the spectrum being the frequency spectrum. So we can see we've got a signal there. We've got one over here when pointing the arrow. Let's see if we can get that one. Probably should have um, set this up before I turn the camera on. Uh, what else we got here? Ninety nine, ninety eight. It should be something there. What's this? Is that radio one? That's better. Right, so hopefully, if this video is working correctly, you should hear some audio. I think that's radio one. So that's the FM broadcast band. Now, the beauty of software defined radio is, like I say, you're not restricted with the, by the hardware constraints of, of hard wired electronics. So, you might, this is, this is why satellites are increasingly using it. Because if you send a satellite up to space and it's, it's designed to work on certain frequency, certain bandwidth, etc., and you want to then change something, now it's a bit difficult if it's, well, thousand kilometers up in space, less, less than two thousand if it's a low Earth orbit satellite, or thirty six thousand kilometers away if it's a uh, geostationary satellite. It's not easy. In fact, no, possibly it's not going to be viable to do it. But if you've got software defined radio, you can change the parameters remotely. So that's why they're using these receivers on them, and well, they're using them in all sorts of applications because you can change the frequency remotely. I mean, that does, I suppose, have some security implications, potentially, but like, I'm just gonna show you. So we're on 98.9 megahertz at the moment. So if I just click that, we're suddenly on 198. Five, eight, six, eight. Right, this should be, it's known as the ISM bands which stands for Industrial, Scientific and Medical. Uh, ah, what's up there? And in Europe, LoRaWAN, for instance, which is a technology used in IoT, in the Internet of Things, that operates on these frequencies. Ah, there, there we go. There. Where's it gone? I keep seeing... 
and we'll see in a minute ago, I've lost it now. Ah, so this right hand side. Now, ah, see some of these signals, there's one there, <laughs> keep appearing and disappearing. They're, they're data signals, they're intermittently sending their data. Right. Hmm. Ah. There's one. I'll leave it where we are at the moment. I just heard something. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Right, we get the idea. Now if I uh swap down to say one six eight Right, I'm going to leave it there, but you get the idea of software-defined radio. So rather than hardwired electronics and uh, fixed parameters, you, it's, it's controlled by the, the processing power of the computer. Uh, so so you, you've got a, ba a basic receiving unit, which is receiving the RF signals, but all the, a lot of the processing of that would normally be done in, with electronics is done in the software of the computer. So that's what um, software defined radio is. Right, I'm just going to turn that off now. Off. Right, okay, this is Craig from Yesway Communications. I hope you found that interesting um, and thank you.